is very good for Hawthorne. Wentz had become a wrestler. So away we go at Prince's Park. Allen smothered off the boot. Bradley. Hogg in the thick of it. Down he goes. He's going to get a free kick. Blackman stands the mark aggressively. Hogg down towards half forward. Graham goes up and claims it. Emerging player. Graham goes across the ground. Pritchard plays on immediately. McGuinness from half back towards half forward. Gow is in from behind. Got hands to it. Knocks it on. Sexton and Barnard off the ground by Crawford just outside the 50. Could have been pushed in the back. The ball across the boundary line. Or is it a free? It'll be a free out there to be taken by Barnard. Hawthorne going into the breeze in the first quarter. Kick by Barnard up to full four. Oh, this will be surely free Dunstall kick. and Silvani. It comes off. A hurried kick towards the goal square. Silvani does well. Finds Hannah. Mill Hannah clears. That's a beautiful pass. Out to Mitchell. Tucks the ball under the armpit. With the breeze to half forward. Man in front, Heaver. Spalding. Tried to go back to a teammate. It was blocked from Bradley. Graham did well. Brown now. Floats a hand pass. Barry Mitchell. About centre wing to Gleeson. Ducks through trouble. One out here is Bond with his opponent. For Hawthorne free kick, advantage now is played. Langford clears, playing his 250th today, the skipper. Away to Crawford in space. It's opened at a cracking pace. Kick by Crawford, and Allen takes the mark near the centre. There's Brett Heavis down behind play, and he's in a lot of trouble. As Dunstall takes a mark up in the right left forward pocket for Hawthorne, there's Heaver. He initially got the ball out, and Collins went for it. As the ball came down, he got it out. And now he's finished up in a bit of trouble. It's unfortunate the stretch is there. They'll have to hold up play. What wretched luck for Heaver. Wretched luck, because he really has turned the corner in his career since coming to... Carlton is just starting to mature as a player this year. Played 15, 15 out of the 18 games this year. And he's been one of those players that David Parkin has wanted as a crummer. And uh, to lose him in the first minute would be a cruel blow. Well, he kicked three goals last week, Drew. He roamed that forward line and uh, was one of their better players. That'll allow Tony Lynn to come on. There's the new stretcher. Previously they had to lift players onto the stretches, but now they'll put it together as you can see. It's a great shot. In fact, it certainly does uh, reduce their goal kicking power because behind Kernahan, Heaver is the next best goal kicker. Kernahan 53, Heaver 24. So uh, there's some goals going off the ground there on the stretcher. Tom Elvin it was, it was Lynn warming up, but they've made a change. Tommy Elvin's coming on. And we'll watch there. Oh, actually, there's a trip over Mark Graham. It's interesting, isn't it, how injuries have happened? It bum it was. So simple, so often. So he was off the ground. Goals and genuine speed depart. Tom Elvin, experience and care, about to come on. Dunstall has this ball outside the 50. He got it from Gowers some time ago. Isn't it amazing how you do all your planning, starting about last Sunday evening, on who would play on who and the balance of the side. And within one minute, it's thrown out the gate. Yes. Well, Barry Mitchell's now gone down onto the forward line. Now he's going. Is he going up the ground? Mitchell now <laughs> makes a liar of me. Leaves the forward pocket. Goes down back. This is Bunn with Bond. Bond might have got him around the legs, oh. but then he, he threw Bunn right into the path of Heaver. Now, how unlucky can you be? And that looked bad, didn't it? Very nasty. So, a lengthy delay. Heaver's gone the length of the ground. Bunn's still now ready to kick. No score. The early going at Princess Park. Take a good kick from here. Cross breeze. He 
sets it up. They'll contest about five metres out. Hawthorne well represented and runs behind Sexton in front across the boundary line. So a throw in just inside the 50. Barnard and Sexton. Cold day in Melbourne. Expected top of 13. Currently 11. There's McKay, hard against the boundary line, across the body, pitches just inside his defensive 50, down goes Hogg, met solidly by Tallis, it's out of bounds and will be thrown in. Now Barry Mitchell has gone down to the forward pocket, taking over from ben he Brett Heaver, and Elvin has gone across onto Jarman. Last time in round four, Carlton by 87 points, that's when Hawthorne lost three in a row to slump to bottom of the ladder. Free kick here to Peter Dean. Haven't had a score as yet. Clock shows five minutes, but we haven't had much football. Bradley. Wobbly kick towards centre wing. Gathered by Graham. Now Allen. Hand pass out into space. Gowers runs into that space. Short pass is good. And Lawrence out marks Deer. Fires out the hand pass. Length of the full back to full forward. Dunstall gets rid of Silvani, but the kick is too wide and out of bounds in the forward pocket, about 30 metres around from the behind post. Mark uh, Graham's by himself, too, across the midfield. Not being picked up by anybody, and there's the odds. Carlton, 2-1 to one on. Hawthorne, 5-4. to four. Here's Silvani. Dunstall got him. Chris do. Across the goal face. Allen leads in the race. In pursuit is Brown. Allen's at right half forward, conceding ground. Goes back to Jarman now, 60 metres from goal. Goes towards the pocket, ambitious kick. Barnard missed it. Putting back on it, Christo knocks it out to the advantage of Gleeson. Socket off the ground by Sexton. It comes out towards the boundary and runs across on the wing. Michael Sexton. Wait for the throw in on the wing. front was Lawrence didn't do much with it down goes Brown and a whistle Paul Cooper's got a big job today on Greg Williams Paul who normally plays on that half back line has had an interrupted season injury wire through injury but he's got a big job there he is Cooper left the screen Williams in the center Williams having a great season there he is in the thick of things Hogg moves the ball on taken by Mitchell away to Brown over the top intended for Gleason it bounced obligingly he pulls it back towards half forward. McGuinness is in the road. Collins, a fumble. A close quarters to Pritchard, who could have been pushed in the back. Back comes Collins, anxious to make amends. Kicks it very high. Bradley will need to go. Could have got a free kick. Will. Plays on to Kudafides. Long kick. Kernahan was tackled. He'll get a free kick. I think also Bradley down behind play. He's up on his feet, he looks all right, the trainers are gone to him, but here's the free kick, it's against Langford, as you can see there, well, well, who held who? Langford held a little longer than Kernahan in that situation. Now Stephen Kernahan and the battles between the opposing captains, Kernahan and Langford, well, in state games and club games, they must have had 30 over the years, Kernahan for the first goal of the game, gets it. Rests on Kernahan's shoulders today with Heaver off the ground. But then again, it's not his responsibility to do the crumbing. But he is their main focal point when going forward. He was down last week, only one goal, three, but didn't have the opportunities. Carlton just didn't win the ball around midfield. Carlton would need a fair lead at quarter time with the breeze they have. Lawrence takes clean possession out of the middle. Goes wide to half forward flank. Jarman turns Alvin inside out. Not a great kick. Allen a good gather. 60 metres out. Mostly Carlton here. No mark taken. Platt and roving. 40 metres out. Oh, terrific smother there. And the ball has gone out of play off Peter Dean. Now Peter Dean Drew is a loose man in defence for Carlton. Stopping Dunstall now. On the other hand, it's Graham for Hawthorne. Uh, Gowers at centre half back and uh, centre half forward, and uh, Hannah at centre half back on Gowers. Gleason robbed of it. Gowers knocked it forward. Barnard back to goal. Pritchard 40 metres out, settles, goes Goldwood. 
but it's close. He misses to the right and behind. The opening score for the Hawks. They trail by five points. Silvani wasting no time. Short to Hannah. Needed to mark it. Did. And full stretch. Will Hannah. Good at five goals the last time these two sides met. He goes towards the outer side. Little push in the back. Not penalised. Sexton's got the ball. Forward of right half back. Goes for distance on the breeze. Down towards half forward. Kernahan uncontested up on his chest. Kernahan too far out to score. Spalding an opportunity. Waited for it to bounce. Should have gone at that one. Bond in trouble. Hasn't got the ball. Held a long time. Throw it in, says the umpire. Down on the boundary line, here's Dipper. Yes, yeah, some bad news for uh, Carlton supporters. Young Heber's broken his leg, Drew. Oh, it's Kernahan and Langford. Comes out in front of goal. Not what Langford wanted there. But he has support. Lawrence goes back to Platten. Kicked by John Platten. His season has been excellent. Centre of the ground. Christou, well up from defence. Punches. Oh, Williams, great hand pass. Here's a goal to Big Harry. Oh, terrific on the run. Well, if you were playing for Calvin, whether you were Madden or a shorty, you'd run somewhere near Greg Williams. Well, this is becoming a little bit monotonous, the fact of Madden kicking goals going into the forward line. Here it is set up, Platten clearing well. Well done by Christou. Madden becoming the running player. And look at that, he's done that on numerous occasions this year. Well done, big fellow. Maybe Andy Collins should have come a little harder, Don. Oh, yeah? Bounce back in the middle. Rucks up again. Down goes Madden with the ball. Kudafides. McKay played it pretty well. Still he goes. Eventually worked forward by Pritchard. Down towards half forward. Dean's in front. Paddles it towards the boundary. Content to run it across. So a boundary throw in. Carlton lead by 11 points. What a contrast there. Diaz in front and wins it though. Christou, half smothered by Gowers. It ricochets down towards full forward. Dunstall against the flow. Pulls it back across the body. Wayward kick. Out of bounds on the floor. Oh, the great thing about supporting a club. They cheered like mad when that kick went out of bounds. An out and out champion, Jason Dunstall. Kudafides marks the kick in. Away to Mitchell. Just over centre wing. Bond in front. Down goes Graham. We'll take a free kick for pushing the back. He's had a great season, Mark Graham. Played just one game last year. And now his career's up to 15 senior games. From Berwick, from where Michael Tuck came. Half forward. Well, Deer looked about fifth in line but took the mark. Dunstall leads. The kick, not really in that direction. Now here's Langford, who has dragged Kernahan right up the ground, and here's the fullback kicking for goal with not one player in one half of the ground. The left-hand half. This is amazing. It's good to see the pressure being applied by Langford. Uh, Madden did it on Lawrence earlier. Now Langford's doing it to Kernahan, running down the ground. He kicked a goal in his first game. Can he kick one in his 250th? Well, it's touched in the goal square, but there might be a free kick. A push. There's no score for that free kick to Tom Alvin. And Bond has gone off, Drew. Bond off, and he's limping off, so I wonder whether he'll take any further part in this game. Coming on is Tony Lynn. Ben Allen, great grab. Over the top of Fraser Brown, so Bond off and Heaver off. Bit of pace gone missing there for the Blues. Ben Allen, 60 metres from goal, goes for the kickoff line. Jarman from behind, big pack at the fall of the ball. It's knocked forward by Carlton. Graham gets the hand pass away. Crawford's in trouble. Platten tries to crash his way through. Still they go. Tallis and now Jarman. Alvin worked hard as well. Williams superbly. Put it out to Bradley on the burst. Bradley goes long towards half forward. Kernahan came up to meet it. Bunn was pushed in the back surely. That free kick to Bunn. Well, this will be a great contest between Langford and Kernahan. Bunn across the half-back line. Carlton just two goals to nothing. They lead by 11 points. 
not enough with the breeze they have in the first quarter, you would say. And again, Hawthorne haven't kicked a goal. Allen and Pritchard interchange. And now Deer outside the 50. Ooh. Hoisted very high. It swings away from goal. Makes it easy for Kudafidis. Towards the outer side of the ground. Well done. Mitchell. Piggyback. Go back and take a free kick. It's got to come back to Barry Mitchell. Last minute withdrawal last week. But he's been terrific, the ex-Sydney Swan, after a disappointing year at Collingwood. Kick by Mitchell towards the cricket pitch area. Spalding climbs high. They're stacking the, the defences at both ends of the ground. Here's Platten going for a run. Lynn. Caught by Platten. High, says the umpire. And the free kick to Tony Lynn. Alongside the centre circle. Kicks inside the 50. Madden. Oh, that's bad marking. I was looking at Lawrence and he was back in the centre of the ground when Madden was on the half forward flank. You really have got to tighten up, especially after Madden kicked the first goal. It was a bad lapse in concentration by Lawrence. And here he is, the big fellow. He started on the left forward flank and had so much time to run into centre half forward to take that mark. Cult figure here at Prince's Park. Round Tickle. figures. Dennis, he's kicked 180 goals in 280 games. Nice and tidy. Matt directly in front. Pulls it rather badly and misses to the right-hand side. The Blues increase their lead. What is it, Chief Goal Kicker? One goal, one to the big fellow. Carlton lead by 12 points then. Langford kicks in poorly. Brown stopped it effectively, taken by Mitchell away to Kernahan. Little chip pass inside the 50. Down goes Hogg, was pushed in the back. Nothing doing. Tallis dragged off the ball. Collins over it. It spills wide to Mitchell. Quick hands away, taken by Madden. Nice pirouette out of trouble, but the kick's a shocker. Langford gets across and marks right on the line. Well, Justin Madden's had four possessions already and kicked a goal. He's been a star. Underground hand pass to McGuinness. Hawthorne under siege, but they haven't conceded a lot. They trail 13 to 1. McGuinness walks the ball out of defence and then 15 metre passes to Graham. Kick by Graham to centre wing. Deer is there with Dean. Dean a diver. And the umpire paid them up. And a 50 metre penalty. The ball might have spilled out, you know. No, he played, played it on after he bounced on the ground. But look, Carlton not playing the loose man. Dean was the loose man in the first part of this quarter, early in this quarter, but now he's picking up Paul Deer. And it's man on man now, right around the ground. Graham was the loose man for Hawthorne, and he seems to be going with Spaulding. Oh! Or Kudafidis. <laughs> and then, well, it's on there, Jarman and Brown. A couple of good ones were thrown there. We'll hear more of that. Fraser Brown, a wild man from Lilydale. Fun on the goal square too with the jockeying going on. The emergency umpire's out to Jarman. Well, he's kicked into the man, Dean. Now they've lost it, regained it through Mitchell. Lost it again. Here's Graham, who's been a good player. Pritchard, Hawthorne running the ball into the breeze. Allen will take two or three bounces. Side of the oh. one, went quickly to Dunstall. I wonder whether Dunstall's close enough, even though he's 50 out. He, I just watched Dunstall. He is exceptionally quick over the first couple of yards. He, the speed and the space he put behind between he and Silvani is quite amazing on that occasion. Incidentally, he needs 10 goals today to bring up 1,000 for his career. By gee, that's a kick and a half into the breeze. Bit of protection from the stand, I suppose. Just offline or behind. Margin 11 points as we go down to the boundary and dipper. Yeah, thanks very much, Janice. Well, Troy Bond has had his ankle uh, heavily strapped and he's about to come back on the ground. Silvani, heavily strapped left knee. Has this one in the right back pocket. Goes towards the outer side. From behind, Spalding was up, couldn't hang on. Gowers fumbled, picked up by Kudafidis. Somehow got out of there. Kudafidis strides away and kicks towards half forward. Langford and Kernahan. Kernahan knocks it on. Collins roving the pack. Got it to Cooper. 
Now Langford, forward at left half back. Down towards left half forward. All directed kick. He had more time. This is Dean. Always resolute in defence. Told to play on. Interesting. Dean runs away from half back. Kicks down towards half forward. Kernahan. Well, he was metres in the clear. He's got to give away 50, Dennis. Yeah, 65 metres out, Kernahan. Bacon goal square. Goes for distance. Back goes Sexton. Almost the mark. Waiting in front. Lynn went down. Incident, in there. Incidentally, Sexton playing on the back line. So these backmen on both sides prepared to run deep into their respective forward lines. We saw Langford earlier. Graham. And now Sexton. Barnard, his opponent, Sexton's opponent, trotted back to the forward line. Chance for the Blues. Gleeson off the ground, a goal. They needed that. They'd been struggling. 3-1 to 2 behind. There he is, number 12, Adrian Gleeson. Worked well last week, Gleeson. Still been their best four or five players. Madden putting the big body in front of that bounce down, getting it out, and Gleeson soccering it through. Looks as though Bond is about to come back for the Blues. Madden wins in the middle. It's three goals to nothing, but Hawthorne have done all right. They've had more marks, kicks and handballs than the Blues. The Blues have the breeze. Pritchard and Dean drops in in front of Dunstall, takes the mark, fires it away to Dunstall's opponent, Silvani. Long kick, clears the defence. Mark to Kutafidis over centre wing. And, you know, in the last six minutes of this first quarter, Carlton could all of a sudden get value. Up to a minute ago, I don't think they had had value. Kernahan dives and marks. And with a breeze in his back, the distance will not trouble him. Well, Mark Graham could have gone back a little bit harder earlier on Kutafidis, who's in front. And Langford did surrender front position fairly easily to Kernahan on that occasion. Tony Lynn trotting off for Carlton and Bond coming back on as Kernahan lines up for his second. Lynn, just one kick in the opening 20 minutes. Kernahan for goal number two. Outside the 50. It gets there. Now Carlton's starting to get value. 4-1 to 2 behind. Well, he really powered into that ball, Stephen Kernahan. To get the distance, you watch this. He really let fly. And he didn't sacrifice accuracy. That was a good kick from 52 metres. Carlton lead by 23 points. Good bounce from the umpire. Lawrence goes up over the top of Madden. Crawford didn't have the ball. He'll get the free kick. Williams quiet. Just two handballs. Crawford alongside the centre circle. Some indecision. Now chips it out wide. Cooper playing on Williams. Just forward of the wing. Slow into the forward line. There's not too many options offering. That's why he's so slow indecisive. Cooper plays on now. Kicks for the middle. Dunstall. Great kick and a fine mark. It was an intended kick. Yep. Uh, it was a terrific kick. And here he is, Dunstall. I um, remarked earlier about his quickness. Look at the space he gets away again from Savani. Great diving mark. He's directly in front. Will it be the Hawks' first of the afternoon? It's close. It's good. Well, he's had these shots from a long way out, Jason Dunstall. He's had a couple of shots for goal, but they've all been around the 50-metre line. Cooper very slow going into the forward line, and uh, I think Dunstall made something out of that. There's a long bomb to go. 
Just under four minutes to go to quarter time. Bradley floats a hand pass. Gleason punches on. Bond is back. Bond leaves him. Kick by Bond is good to centre wing. Andy Gowers takes the mark. Steers the pass. Barnard just flipped away from him by Sexton. And then Barnard, I thought he'd interfered, but the umpire's going to allow the boundary throw in. Got his chance with Hawthorne earlier in the season when they had that spate of injuries. Barnard and uh, really didn't come up, but he has matured as a player in the reserves. Now gets his second opportunity. Greg Williams fires out a hand pass to Mitchell. Hurry kick by Mitchell to centre wing. Almost a spoiler. Here's Bond. Port Adelaide best and fairest last year. Mitchell. Langford climbs, can't take the mark. Crawford gets back to help. Kick by Crawford's not good. He went behind Graham. Kudafidis. Oh, if he could have kept that in, would have been interesting. Ball out of play. Having a pretty good season, Anthony Kudafidis. Kernahan at the boundary throw in, gathered the ball on the bounce, then proceeds to tackle Cooper. The umpire wants it. 4 1 plays 1 2. Carlton in front. Aided by the breeze. It's a fluctuating breeze. Not all that strong at the moment. Langford hooks it down. Pritchard confronted, got the hand pass off to no one in particular. Tallis at the base of all of that. And the bounce just outside the 50. kernahan has got two goals. Dunstall's got one, the only goal for the Hawks. Kernahan goes up and wins it down. Williams missed it. Mitchell, who's been good, hand passes Goldwood. Lawrence through the pack, well played by the big man to Langford, who boots it back to midfield. Hannah stretching, goes back and claims the mark. Mill Hannah in the middle, goes for distance. Kernahan and Langford again. Spalding! Well done. He's a real workhorse, this man. Earl Spalding. I can't understand why Melbourne ever let him go. He can play centre half, back centre half, forward. But look, he's only got eyes for the ball, Earl Spalding. I think they cleared him down because they hated watching him kick for goal. <laughs> <laughs> Collectively, they were getting ulcers. <laughs> Let's well, see he, what happens here. Well, he'll kick it out of bounds, but he kicked two last week. What's it done? Misses to the left. Good call. <laughs> I think you're safe with Earl, aren't you? That's a pretty good bet. What's the Carlton match committee think of him kicking for goal? They've well, written the uh, fingernails up to the elbow. Kick by Langford straight up the middle. Lawrence didn't try the mark. He might have taken it. Brown goes back to Williams. Williams always seems to find Mitchell. Hand pass out Cooper. Eventually with Collins. Around the corner he goes. Chance here for the Blues. Bradley to Hannah. His hand pass is blocked off the hand by Gowers. Well done. Tallis. Raiden Tallis. Allen. Crawford. Back to Allen. Working hard into the breeze, Hawthorne. Kick to centre half forward. Jarman's there. Slaps the ball. Goes to Christou. No distance with the kick. Madden. Nudged out of it. No free kick. Here he is, Rovi. Lawrence went for the boundary line. Didn't hit it hard enough. Mitchell goes back. Sexton was out before he kicked it. Fortunately for him, because he kicked it out on the full. And it'll come back for a throw in on centre wing. Barry Mitchell looking a bit stiff there, but uh, he's been prominent. 11 possessions in the first quarter. Well, he just shadows Greg Williams around. Knocked behind by Lawrence, directly that of McKay. Away to Hannah. Something good can happen here for the Blues. Hannah goes for home. Bounces wide at the mark and through for a behind. Quarter time at Princess Park. Carlton lead 27 to 8. It's 4 3 to 1 2. They've had just one kick in the first quarter. Start of the second term. This time Hawthorne have use of the breeze, but it's not as strong as it was in the first term. Hog the first kick. Doesn't clear the centre square just yet. Spalding did a circle around it. Graham. Crawford did well. 
Out to McGuinness on centre wing. Waiting for the ball to sit up for him. Behind play, yeah, the so Hawthorne free kick with Mitchell dragging Collins down. Yes, Collins was laying the shepherd and uh, Mitchell a little frustrated and crude in his execution. So it's a relayed free kick to McGuinness. Really, they should have paid advantage, I believe. Dark and overcast here at Prince's Park. The kick inside the 50. Dunstall got there on the half volley and the ball goes out of bounds on the 50. Good effort by Dunstall. Boundary throw in. Sparing lunge at this one, just gets a right hand to it on the half volley. Meantime, after the throw in, Hannah goes over the top to Gleason. He's at right half back and in trouble. Chris to Hannah. Kicks off one step and floats it down towards the wing. Spalding gave a contest. Terrific effort from behind. In fact, he's played a mark. Bit lucky. Spalding plays on. Kicks inside the 50. Kernahan. Good kick by Spalding. Sexton wants it to the pocket. That's the direction the kick takes, and he's marked it. Good kick. Sexton, on a very tight angle, right full forward. Incidentally, Sexton playing half-back flank on Barnard. The margin is 19 points. This to extend it. It bends left to right, but too early. A behind. So the Blues by 20 points now. 4-4, four, four, players 1-2. Some sort of a hand pass out. Through goes Hogg. Clears the centre square, but kicks mother. Pritchard grabs it. Off to Platt. His hand pass is good. Graham bouncing through the centre circle. Kick by Graham. Perfect for Dunstall. Well, when you have a champion full forward, you're going to look for him. And you couldn't do it any better than the youngster Ben Graham did on that occasion. This is probably the first time that Jason Dunstall has been within kicking range. He's been leading out a long way from goal. Going for his second. 40 metres out. The kick's good. Well, he's much more easier in his delivery of the ball that time. Dunstall, confident. It's a good shepherd going to be laid here. We can just pick it up. You watch your outer screen. Mitchell was really chasing, but there's Deer. He lined Mitchell up. It was a great lead and kick. Well within kicking distance. Made it easily, Dunstall. Lawrence jumped very early and gets away a free kick. Madden to take it. 4-4-2-2. Madden from the centre goes down towards half forward from behind Sporting again, big leap. Falls to Williams just outside the 50, floats it towards the pocket. Awkward bounce for Bond down there. Langford charges through. Opportunity for McGuinness across to Bunn. Gets it to Gowers. Very slick and forceful but effective to Platten. Platten kicks it down towards half forward. Hudson on the ground and it runs away from him and out of bounds. Throw in left half forward for the Hawks, who started the second term well. James Cook about to come on. James Cook, there is on screen, about to come on. And I think it looked like no, surely Fraser Brown. No, Cook's going back to the bench now. Diaz slaps it down, taken by Hudson Hart against the line. Clever kick, spotted Crawford, was marked about 40 metres from goal. I reckon they're a big chance to be in front at half time. They're playing good footy, Hawthorne. Yes, they look likely since the start of the game. Going to be in the right mood. Cook is the fellow that's going to come on for Carlton. He went back to the bench and obviously got a telephone message from the coach's box. Important kick this one. Crawford just inside the 50. It's close. It's a behind. Hammer's coming off, Dennis. Yep, Cook is coming on. 
was just going to say, Don, they're a moody team, Hawthorne. You never quite know what to expect from them this year. They've won big and they've lost big. Hannah, seven possessions, so an interesting replacement, that one. And Cook was going straight down to the forward line. Nobody knows that he's on the ground. He's by himself. Ball taken out by Cooper, whose man is Greg Williams. And Williams, the leading disposal merchant in the competition with just five disposals five minutes into the second quarter now mcginnis is going down to pick him up please hog knocks on crawford chasing hard might have come off him out of bounds on the full no umpire says give it to me and i'll throw it in 28 to 15 a 13 point lead to the blues just five minutes into the second term already lost heaver with, with what we believe is a broken leg. Pritchard, a little left footer. Hudson, clever. Back to Cooper. Spiral torpedo, low to the forward pocket. Sexton keeps it in well. Matt. Oh, Dean, it really did hit Barnard. He's up Barnard, but he certainly did cut a heavy one. Got a cannon effect there, Don. This is Mitchell. The hand pass not particularly effective. Could have fit his needs to go now. Sold Gleason into trouble. He scrambles it down towards half forward. Cooper attacked it well. Collins could have got a free. Brown nicely to Spaulding though. Spaulding 60 metres out. Sets it up very high for Cook. Cook and McGuinness. Cook the bit of recovery. Alvin about 30 metres out. Should have done much better. Picks it behind. Had plenty of time. Great work initially by Cook. 4-5-2-3. in by Langford. Gowers, but he got underneath it. Madden juggled it, didn't take the mark. Gowers with the crumbs. Already to the centre half forward position inside 50. Deer is there, traps it low. Well done by Deer. Barnard goes back to Platt. Little hand pass. Allen outside the 50. The kick by Allen. Good. Hudson. That was excellent play by Ben Allen. Excellent play. In two minds as to what to do initially when he got the ball. He then spotted Hudson. That was just skill personified. Well done. Terrific vision. Allen, all class. 12 possessions. Hudson, first quarter on the bench. On the ground now. Kicks a behind. Well, that's a disappointing effort. But you'd expect it from Hudson, whose kicking has been poor this year. 25 goals, 25, that is. On the bench is Hannah Dipper. Yes, uh, Drew, the uh, Carlton doctors are certainly working overtime. They're working on his right knee at the moment. He's laying on the boundary line in front of me now. Gleason's got the ball. Kicks towards the wing. In from the side, Sexton. And runs three behind. Picked up by Kutafides. Awaited Dean, who keeps it alive. Knocked it across to Mitchell, but not before he was taken high. So Peter Dean with the free. Forward of right half back. Talking about Paul Hudson, last season he put in 51 goals, so his production is way down. Dean kicks towards half forward, Kerner hands the target, knocked forward, taken by Gleason, half smothered, it ricochets towards Madden, clean bowled in, Allen's got it, away to Lawrence, Williams stood there, got the ball, slung, the hand pass not effective, Hogs over the ball now, Gleason, great pressure by the Hawks, sliding in there is Cooper, and they tie it up. It was hard for the ball, Cooper. Well, they all did there. Good passage of pressure football. Well, when the Hawks were great, they were like a swarm of bees, and they were then. Yep. No rest for the Blues. So here's the bounce just inside the 50. Kernahan from behind reaches over the top and knocks it down. Picked up by Bunn. His kick not particularly good. Madden goes up and marks just outside the 50. Justin Madden plays on, kicks it down towards full forward. Kernahan works his way in front. There's a free He's interfered kick. with, he'll get the free. It's against Langford. Holding. There's already been a two, one of them from a free kick. Watch this, here it is on replay. There's the holding infringement. So that's twice now Langford's been caught under the ball and trying to get back as awarded a free kick to Kernahan. And Fraser Brown has gone off the ground for Carlton and coming on Tony Lynn for his second run of the game. So Kernahan going at number three here. Get the lead back to what it was at quarter time, 19 points. 
It's close. It's a goal. Well, umpire went a long way, but Kernahan's got three. Carlton have only got the three goal kickers so far. Kernahan his three. Gleason's kicked a goal, and so has Kudafidis. Langford, I think that's the second time to memory that Langford's been penalised for holding. points the margin same as at quarter time Matt Gowers bounced off the defender but lost it to Kuda feed his beautiful pass Lynn just reprieved off the bench Lynn blazes away for goal and kicks it behind ex Brisbane Bear went to Adelaide to continue his footy back in the AFL pretty good season for Carl as soon as he came on the ground, he went and picked up Ben Allen. It'll be just interesting to see what happens in that matchup. Langford booted it in. Could have he's knocks it on. Hogg trying to help it on its way. Lawrence worked out of it, so was Gowers. Now Platten, terrifically done, but couldn't control the ball. He fights on. Socket off the ground by Lawrence. Eventually, the ball comes across to Pritchard. Pritchard, in turn, finds Allen. Allen boots it down towards half forward. Dia goes back and marks inside the 50. Initiated by Graham, who battled hard for that ball across half back. And then they were able to run it out. And finally, Dia, in a difficult situation to score from, goes to the pocket, even deeper, out of bounds, I would think, on the full. That's a wasted effort. It's a poor kick. Good positioning by Tallis, but a poor execution by Dia. McKay from the pocket towards half back. Gowers up in front, knocks it towards the boundary and puts it across. So the Blues by 20 points. The breeze is freshening again now. As we said earlier, quite fluky today. It's interesting what they're doing off the ball. Ben Allen's going into the back pocket, picking up Tony uh, Lim. And Tullis is going with Bradley. Gowers, 50 metres out, heads for home. Silvana gets back and takes the mark. Plays on him McKay, but he can't do that. The umpire wants him to come back over the mark. It was a strange kick by Gowers, neither one thing nor the other. Wanted to kick it a little harder. Some sort of compromise kick as Silvani goes towards the outer side. And Sexton, who's very good overhead, takes a good grab there. Here's Gleason. Floats a hand pass in. Deer charges straight at it. That was well done. The man who won the Norm Smith medal in a premiership in 1991. Now the ball's out of play and we'll have a throw in. I'm not sure what's happened to uh, Paul Deere since then. A, a great day out at Waverley. To be best man on the ground in a premiership. Haven't seen uh, the like of it since. Mitchell, a little hand pass to Sexton. Sexton. Half forward, Lynn. Yeah, well, Mark before the spoil came. Half oh. Tony Lynn. Hawthorne will really have to get Ben Allen up around midfield. No distance with the kick into the breeze. Oh, Gleason interfered with. And he'll take the free in front, 40 metres out. Adrian Gleason, who had a spell in the reserves for four matches earlier in the year. Andy Collins not too happy with that decision. Felt with Andy Collins. He's running second a lot this year, Drew. He can't afford to. He's going to get back into the habit of running at the ball as he did when he first came into this side. Distance will trouble him. Oh, it doesn't. It's a oh, great kick. Well, a series of free kicks. One against Ben Allen on Tony Lynn. Free kick in the centre of the ground. Then it went down. A kick from Lynn and Gleeson in front of Collins. And the result is a goal. To Adrian Gleeson, number 12. Just under 10 minutes till half time, and Calvin have kicked away now. It's a handy lead. Down went Mitchell. Over the ball is Alvin. He waked it back in. He needed to be careful, but the umpire decides he will bounce it. 6-6 six, six plays 2-4. Hawthorne started well, both in the first term and in this term, but you get the feeling now Calvin have worked their way on top, so the next five minutes or so, 
In fact, the entire run to half time. Very important for the Hawks. Deer flew over the top. Williams knocked it forward. Gowers didn't have it. Williams soccers it off the ground. It bounces through the midfield. Christo goes after it. Well shepherded by Kudafidis. A bit happening behind play. Christo with some time. Kicks inside the 50. In from the side. Cook almost the mark. Knocked away from Kernahan. Bunn gets it across to Collins. He heads for the boundary line and runs it out. A yeah, clever kick. Andy Collins breaking a record today. Consecutive games for Hawthorne. 139 beats the record of Michael Tuck. Comes down to Allen. His kick up short of centre wing. Platten the only chance for Hawthorne. Keeps the ball in. Pritchard's there. Crawford's hand pass blocked by Christo. Kudafidi's off the ground. That was a good contest between Bunn and Bond. And the ball out of play. Just down near Dipper, I thought he was going to get another touch. Yes, Hawthorne are going to make a change. They're going to get uh, Crawford to go back into the back line on Gleeson and Allen up around midfield. That's a much better move. Christo caught in a fantastic tackle. Slung the hand pass away. Good hands by Pritchard at bootlace level. Now he's holding the ball. So yeah. that's a bit tough. Yeah. Mind you, could have he's played it very well. Goes towards centre half forward and Cook on the lead. Behind was Gleeson. Gleeson held when he didn't have the ball, according to the umpire. And he'll get the free right on the 50. The value of playing in front, he's done it twice now, Gleeson, and been rewarded on both occasions. Goes looking for Kernahan. Cleared him, but Alvin runs into an open goal. Alvin get their seven. The veteran, Tommy Alvin, has increased their lead to 32 points. Well, Gleeson, because he's playing in front, got the free kick, looked for Kernahan, the ball over the top of the head, and Alvin, who's got the job on Jarman, deep in the forward line, goes in for his first goal. He started on the bench, Tom Alvin. There he is on screen, number 31. Out of the middle, Cooper. Kudafidis can't mark. Dean. Christou. Cooper thumps the ball on. Here's Barnard. With him is Sexton. Sexton, well played. Off the left boot. That was composure. Centre wing, Crawford. Floats the hand pass in. Collins running in the same direction as the ball. Tallis palms it off to him. Collins to Pritchard. Very high ball. Dunstall out of this picture. All Carlton at ground level after the punch came from Silvani. Christou. Bond. It's sat back. Alvin. Mitchell. Lightning hands. But not good enough. It's a push to Alvin. And he'll take a free kick. Kick by Alvin to Kernahan. Outside the 50. A long, long way up the ground. But he's got marking power with Cook. This is James Cook. Good hands. He's very, very good, Mark, this man. He's the equal to Kernahan. And here's the mark. It's just a one grab. Look at this. Well done. Despite the opposition from McGuinness, Barnard coming off and Hargrave's on for Hawthorne as Cook lines up from 52 metres out. Angle very acute. A tough shot for goal. James Cook, the ex-Tasmanian, kicks right through it, just across the face, in the goal square. Pritchard desperate. The umpire came sprinting in like Linford Christie then, to award the ball up in the goal square. 7-6 to 2-4, just over six minutes till half time. Madden and Lawrence working over time the bounce well Madden almost held when he didn't have the ball it's forced through for a behind so the lead increased and from the moment I said Hawthorne might be in front at half time it's been all cut uncanny the way it works as Langford kicks in this is Spalding roving the pack sends it back in again Madden coming back on Langford Langford stood his ground he's looking for 50 Nothing doing. Chris Langford. Oh. And number 250 just runs away from Madden. If 
50 of sorts anyway. Comes up towards half back and chips the ball in. McGuinness boots it out wide. Lawrence. Now Gowers right on the wing. Pulls it around the corner. Intelligent kick. Got it to Tallis and now Collins. Collins at left half forward. Pulls it back very abruptly. Waiting for it, Cooper. Over the top, Chris do. Loose ball in front, knocked by Williams. Intercepted, though, by Allen. Allen lines up and misses to the near side. Seven-seven plays two-five. Two tonight's his problems. As I said, they've been a moody side this year. Very inconsistent, Hawthorne. But at the start of the season. Hawthorne lost at Melbourne, North Melbourne and Carlton. And this time round they've lost so far to Melbourne and North. And will Carlton do it again? Silvani well up the ground. Terrific attacking defender. Bradley. Kick to centre half forward. Palm down. Ground level wanted. Off the ground by Langford but a diving mark by Lynn. Four and a half minutes to half time. 49 to 17, the Blues well on top. Wide for Kernahan, but Lawrence got there. Langford beats Kernahan. No, he didn't. Great tackle by the Carlton skipper. Forced Langford out of bounds. Langford thought, and I thought he'd get around Kernahan, but a desperate effort by Kernahan to hold up Langford. Good passage of play. Boundary throw in. Kernahan props in front. Clean possession. Almost handed it to Gleeson, who was strongly tackled by Langford. Just moved off Kernahan and on to the next man. Brought him down right on the 50. Adrian Gleeson. His side. Enjoying a good lead at the present time. Kernahan. Well played. Well read by Allen. The boots towards midfield. Crawford lets it bounce. That could present a problem. Christo runs onto the loose ball, then left it behind. Crawford gets his second opportunity. Gets it away to Graham. Graham kicks inside the 50. Hudson goes up and takes a very good grab. And Elvin hurt himself with Hudson coming the other way. He may have got a knee in the head. It's Tom Allop Elvin. Interesting he's got the moulded soles on Tom. I think he wears long stops today. That's the worst of his worries at the moment. There's Hudson. The kick from 55. Desperately needing a goal, the Hawks. Hudson's kick wobbles down towards full forward. What's he done? It's a goal. Sneaked it through. 3-5 play 7-7. Seven, seven. He's got a little, lot of ability, Paul Hudson, but he's very lucky to be in the team. You bracket Taylor, Hudson and Pritchard together, both or three of them, very lucky to stay in the team. Taylor, a late withdrawal because of flu, but he really is a better player than what he's showing, Paul Hudson. Three and a quarter minutes left to half time, and Hawthorne need a couple more. Cooper, a little kick out of the middle. Sits on end. Chance for Deer. Paddles the ball on McKay. He's seen a lot of him. A hand pass along the ground to Brown, who's just back off the bench, to Gleeson. Kick by Gleeson to half forward. This time Langford in front. Can't take the mark. He was in a position to. Good tackling by Kernahan. Ooh, Pritchard. Dean, good gather. Terrific play by Peter Dean. Unlucky to miss the grand final last year. This man here is going to get the free kick. Hogs doing a terrific job on Platten. Platten's had six possessions for the game so far. And now who's is Kutafidis? Too far out to score. Bradley leads in short. Awkward one. He fumbles it towards the line. Centering kick. Gleason. But the mark is taken by Graham. Hawthorne need a couple. Kicked by Graham. Wide for Gowers, who marks at half back flank. Andy Gowers, left half back. Kicks to the wing. Hudson surrounded. Sexton came back with courage. Knocked out of bounds by McKay. 7 7, 3 5. Boundary throw in right on the wing. Madden in front of Lawrence. In from the side, Kutafidis. Madden got it down. Allen. Deft hand pass, releases Hargraves, who runs down towards half forward. The kicks a shocker. Dunstall comes on the lead, knocked forward by Silvani. Hargraves again, bundled over the boundary line. So too Silvani. Trying to keep it in front was Deer. Was he bumped in the back? Not according to the umpire. The 
It's out of bounds and a throw in about 70 meters from Hawthorne's attacking goal. It's well done by Sexton. Carlton have got a very good defense. Lawrence and Madden preoccupied with each other. Knocked out of there by Platten, taken by Dean. Lawrence, the hand pass not particularly good. Allen's over the ball. Christie's over him. Gleason upended by Platten. And the umpire offers a quick whistle. Well, a good hand pass there by Lawrence. Could have set the Hawks up for a running shot at goal. And he just missed with his hand. Steve Lawrence, his greatest day was when he played for Queensland in the State of Origin game and beat the Mitre Victoria on the Gabba and Lawrence flogged Steins in his Brownlow year. Free kicks 14 to 6. Carlton's way. We throw a blanket over 30 players here. The umpire cannot get air. Free kick to Lawrence. <laughs> wow. Explain that. Well, the Batten wouldn't get out of the road. High ball. Hudson, off hands to Dunstall. Oh, that's clever. Batter behind. I wish the umpires would have done that in my day. A lot of those fellows that used to push and shove. There's Madden going crook. The umpire wanted position to bounce the ball, but Madden wouldn't get out of the road. Well, out of 30 players, how did he blame Madden? Exactly. Amazing. I didn't think it was quite as clear cut as you did, Don. That's the kick in from Williams. Used the ball well. Found Bradley. Unusual to see Greg Williams kicking in after a behind. In front was Brown. Loose ball. Comes to Kutafiti. Stood his ground well. Kicks down inside the 50. Going back is Lynn. Kept his eye on the ball, but a terrific mark taken by Graham. Running back with the flight of the ball. It goes out wide towards the outer side and Crawford to Pritchard. Pritchard down towards the half forward line. Taken out there by Hargraves, who took it and bounced it immediately. Gets it across towards McGuinness. 70 metres out from goal. McGuinness goes down towards full. Oh. Did touch it? Did Dunstall touch it? No. He tried to, but McGuinness gets the goal for the Hawks. That was a pass that finished up being a goal. Well, it'll be a worrying sign for the Carlton uh, coaching bench. A lot of Hawthorne players by themselves out on centre wing. There it is, Crawford. Pritchard will finish up with McGuinness. That's Hargroves coming back on the ground. Not a good kick off the boot, but somehow it just got there. Dunstall trying to get a hand to it, but it beats the other fellows over the line. Ten seconds left at the centre bounce. Hawthorne would desperately love another one. Allen out of the middle. They're a chance. Deer helps the ball on. McKay hands to it. Deer's hand pass. He taps on. But there is the siren, and it's half time here at Princess Park. And Carlton have a good recent record against the Hawks, and it's continuing here so far, although by no stretch of the imagination is it a match winning lead. But 7 7 49 to Hawthorne, 4 6 30, a 19 point lead, exactly the margin it was at quarter time. And look at Harry Madden, he's the hero here at Princess Park of the uh, Carlton fans, but uh, he's no big fan of the umpire at the moment. <laughs> but it, he gets through his footy career with great humour, Harry Madden. Of course, he's the uh, president of the Players Association. He's running the show, Harry, but he's not running the umpires at the moment. 7-7 to 4-6. Daniel Dipper, Wharfies walk out when it's too hot. What are you going to do when it's too cold? Start of the second half here at Prince's Park. Madden got his hands to it. He's just finished another blue with the umpires, Williams, but the kick didn't go far enough. Jarman takes the mark. Playing on half-back too. Drew or lined up on half-back on Fraser Brown. And he's been very quiet. Just three kicks for the game. Cooper from centre wing. On the bounce to Hudson. Hudson. Can he keep it in? Well, McKay takes it out. And we'll have a throw in. About 65 metres from goal. Hawks attacking. One down by Lawrence. Into the path of Hargraves. McKay comes to meet him, and the ball is out of bounds. So another throw in. 19 points at quarter time, 19 points at half time, and it's still our margin early in the third term. Lawrence again knocks it down in front, spills behind the pack. Cooper's kick ricochets out towards Christo. He was dragged off the kick. Cooper comes again. Pritchard quickly got it to Platten. The kick towards the middle. Gow is off hands, about 50 metres from goal. Silvani worked him off the ball, took a tumble then, dragged down was Hargraves, in fact it was Crawford, play goes on, Gowers pulls it towards full forward, 
Hargraves drops the mark in the square, and it ricochets through from behind. Just wonder whether he should have taken that mark, Tim Hargraves. Missed opportunities all round. And here it is on screen. Maybe just took his eye off the ball at the last moment as Mackay came in. Pushed by Mitchell. It's interesting behind play, Drew, that a lot of fellows are jumping up and down, rubbing their hands together. It is very, very cold here at Optus Oval. Get it. Trying to get the circulation going in their hands, their legs. Look at James Cook down there, McGuinness, Scott McGuinness behind play, Kernahan, Langford, all doing it. Ruck work by Williams. Gleason under pressure, lost it to Allen. A little flick up to Crawford. Crawford's kick across the face of goal for Deer. Too much on it. And Deer could just keep it in. Back he comes. Hargraves a pack across the other face of goal and out of bounds on the full. Well, it's a comedy of errors. It was Crow. Stevenson, was it? Stevenson. Yeah, man. That was the target from the kick in. There's Bradley with pace. Bradley running down towards half forward. Haven't seen a lot of him today. Left the ball behind. Dragged off it by Platten. He's going to get a free kick. He's a bit lucky. A by play between Bradley and Platten on the ground. The ball will come back to Craig Bradley. He had three bounces. Number third. Over around the ball. So Kernahan wants it high. That's the direction the kick takes. And why not? Kernahan from behind. Langford. Kept his footing well. Puts it across towards Stevenson. Deep in the pocket. Stevenson, the former Fitzroy player, kicks it around the other side. In front, Crawford. Straight to Kutafidis. Kutafidis quickly down towards the half-forward line. Taken by Mitchell. 60 metres from goal, Mitchell. Centres it. Cook in from the side. Well, Taylor made for him. Kerwin hand was jostling with Langford. Now, just watch this. Sorry to cut you off. Now, watch uh, the trainer come across to Cook. We can get a shot at Cook, oh, we haven't. But he waters his hands down with water as he lines up for goal. I don't know why he does that. Play just an idiosyncrasy no, that I'll he's got. You, I'll tell you why in a minute. There's Cook from 30 metres out. He's kicked and missed. Well, well, maybe I'm, he shouldn't have put the water on the hands. I'm led to believe that there's a substance on the hands of quite a few players in the competition at the present time. And that... They're concerned about when they drop the ball, Don, that the grip is almost too good. Nice. So they try and actually get some of that rosin or whatever it is off their hands. Here's Williams through the middle to Kernahan. Kernahan from 45 metres has kicked a goal. And Greg Williams made it from nothing. Well, he set Madden up in the first quarter, Williams. And that time, he gave it across to Kernahan. Here's the kick from Langford out to centre. Well done by Madden. Look at Williams getting onto it. Kernahan. All starting with Madden. Williams involved as well. Just sensational play from Greg Williams in the middle. He's been quiet today. Two kicks, eight handballs. Gleason's kick up and down the mine shaft. And here's Williams again. Quite first half, but we might see the best of him from now on. Kicked by Williams inside the 50, marked a Lynn. That was Greg Williams' first mark for the day. Cooper's done a good job on him. And if Lynn can kick this, a couple of goals in the first four and a half minutes with the breeze. With all this wind-assisted wind time left, make it pretty hard for Hawthorne. Kick by Lynn. Oh, that's a terrific looking kick. Can't do any better than that. Isn't it great to see players who are on the second chance at AFL football really do take the bit between their teeth? Tony Lynn started with the Bears. He couldn't crack it up there, went to Central Districts in South Australia. He's come to Carlton and really has improved as a player. Well done, Tony Lynn. So the margin, 31 points. Carlton effectively doubling the Hawks' score. 
Gleason over the ball, Platten over him. Plenty of bodies in there working double time. Cooper trying to force a passage, going nowhere. Like a rugby scrum that's gone wrong, and eventually a whistle. The Blues have started well in this third term. Madden in front was pushed in the back, should have got a free kick, but he's not the umpire's favourite at the moment. Kudafides gets it away to Dean. Christou now, Christou at half back. Long searching kick towards centre half forward, spalling in from the side. It runs free behind Crook, away to Lynn. Lynn runs into an open goal and gets another one. Carlton on fire. We shall warm our hands by them. Point last week, Tony Lynn. He had Tanner from Geelong. But he really, he's playing in the back pocket, but really did sit back from Tanner. Here he is playing up forward, started on the bench today, but has done well at this early part of the third quarter. Carlton really threatening to romp away with this game. Lawrence did well in the middle. Gleason taken by Gowers. Ball spills free, he's holding it. Hawthorne free kick. Vice like tackle by Gowers. And uh, Tellus warming up for Hawthorne. I think Bun's going to come off and be replaced by Tellus on the half back line. Straight to the Carlton defence, and Dean's had a picnic back there today. Peter Dean comes out wide to Christou. He's like Val Perovic. Woo! When he kicks the ball. They get their favourites here at Prince's Park. They love Madden in particular and Christou at the moment. Grabbed by Pritchard. Short pass, Crawford just inside the line. Centering kick to the 50. Dean again, caught from behind by another good tackle by Gowers. Bradley, back to centre wing. Jarman has been absent without leave. Short pass, Allen takes the mark. It's still inside the centre square. Wide for Hudson, and Hudson marks 40 metres out. Bun's going off the ground for Hawthorne. Lynn is his immediate opponent. They're making the change. Tell us going on to Lynn. Also warming up for Hawthorne is Scott Crow. Paul Hudson really needs to kick this. This for his second. Poster. Bad luck. Goal to Paul Hudson, he's coming off the bench. Silvani goes in short to Alvin. Silvani bit of eight goals against the Hawks back in April of 92. Went pretty well this afternoon on Jason Dunstall. Shrugs a tackle and comes away. Boots it towards the commentary side of the ground. Going back, Gowers takes a very good grab. Plays on immediately to Graham, forward of the wing. Spears the pass into Allen. Ben Allen. 21 possessions already towards the pocket. Hargraves got a hand to it, couldn't control it. Hudson an opportunity deep in the pocket. He's missed to the near side. Well, they're desperate for a goal to stay in this. Carlton in danger of blowing this game wide open. Stephen Silvani again. Dunstall's got two goals. One in each of the first two terms. Mitchell, well protected as you can see, to McKay, too easy, storming through the middle, intended oh, for Kernahan to push sure. in the back. I oh, thought it was. umpire. And the umpire in perfect position to see that. Oh. It was about 15 metres away. Look at this on replay now. Surely that is a push out. Timing with the hips, I reckon. There's Kernahan then going at his fifth. His best haul this season was nine in round 11 against Fitzroy, second best seven in round 10 against Footscray. Directly in front. Kicks and kicks truly. It would seem all over. Carlton 11 8, Hawthorne a 4 9. Well, an impeccable. Sheet has he today, Stephen Kernahan. Five straight goals. A questionable mark. And here it is 
from full back to Kernahan. You can see the umpire in perfect position in the foreground. Deer gets it out of the middle. Hawthorne need about the next three. Hand pass sets them up. Chance here. Kick for goal by Stevenson. Christo. Played it well. Kept the ball in. That's great footy. Fumble by Sexton. Could be costly. Tap back to Lawrence. He tunnels it back. Bunt. It's not Bunt. It's Crow. And Crow kicks the goal. Well, Crow's just come off the bench. He's playing the forward pocket. He replaced Crawford, who's gone off the ground. As Kernahan was lining up and kicking his goal, that was when the change was made by Hawthorne. And that's his first kick of the game and a goal. There he is, Scott Crow, who's done fairly well in the reserves, getting his opportunity. It's not his first game. He made his debut last year. 35 points the difference. Madden lost it. Hacking it forward there was Jarman. Williams sends it Carlton's way. Awkward bounce for Brown, but it came to Spalding. Across to Hobb. Kernahan comes on the lead again. Timely fist from Langford. In front, Graham got an unkind bounce. Hogg goes again. Got it to Brown. Dragged Tackle. down by Jarman. Ball jarred free. Picked up again by Graham. Gets it out wide to Stevenson, to Allen, his 23rd possession. Goes inside the 50, despairing lunge down there by both players, Silvani and Dunstall. Down went Dean, was he pushed in the back? Not according to the umpire. Chance for Mitchell. It's knocked back into the congestion. Silvani's got it. Clears it quickly. Floats it down towards half forward. Lynn under the ball. Right over the top was Tallis. Behind this is Collins. He can't find the handle at the moment. Still Collins. McGuinness up from full back. Awkward one for him, this one. He kicks it out wide. There was no one to kick to. It needs to run out of bounds. And or Crow shows some pace. Well, he did, but he slid across the line. Well played by McGuinness. He looked down the ground. It was all Carlton. And full credit to Crow. He worked hard to get up there and be the hawk amongst about three blues. Over the ball, Williams. Allen tried to spin out with it. Pritchard went to ground. Williams again. Threads a hand pass to Lynn. He's already kicked two in this term. Goes for his third. Right down towards full forward. Kernahan got a fist to it. Crashed into the post. And Carlton increased their lead. Kernahan's kicked two this quarter. And Lynn has kicked two. And the goal by Scott Crow in his 10th league game was just his second goal at AFL football. Langford. Hawks working into a big breeze here in the Oh, he's third. gone. Pritchard. We don't like the Hawks' chances here. Trouble for Stevenson. Helped out by Graham. Back to Stevenson. Over the top he goes to Tallis. Stevenson. These aren't household names. Diving mark grabbed by Gowers. He's had a good third quarter, Andy Gowers. Stevenson again for the third time. He's kicked the centre half forward. Dunstall. Oh. Now there is a household name. And what a great battle. Yes, and what a great battle between Dunstall and Silvani. Obviously, that one must have shaken Dunstall up a bit, just closing the eyes, trying to refocus. It's been a very even battle. Tough kick into the breeze. Won't make it. Madden didn't attempt the mark. Hooked it back for a point. A point on the referee scorecard. Christo. Oh. Stephen Silvani. It was intended for Silvani. It comes to Hudson and Hudson punishes Carlton. Terrible kick in. May not have the job for very long. 6 10, 11 9. Well, what's this uh, kick out? Here he is, Christo, looking for Silvani. The ball's gone to his opponent, Hudson. Well, McKay's got Hudson, I should say. The Hawks have kicked the last two goals into the breeze. Madden wins in the middle. Hawks fighting pretty hard. They're fourth on the ladder, but there's such a logjam of teams behind the two runaway leaders that a defeat here 
would really put them back in the mile. There's no certainty that they'll play in the finals, even with a final eight. Oh, Williams, what a third quarter. Kernahan. Spalding onto it. Now Gleeson. They're losing ground. They've lost the ball. Langford soccer's away from Kernahan. Pritchard keeps it going. Free kick to Stevenson. And he's done quite well, Stevenson, since coming on at half time. Shane Stevenson. Played two games for the Hawks last year, nine games for Fitzroy. Kick by Stevenson. Over centre wing, all Carlton. McKay can't mark. Half volley for him. A real scrap. And the Hawks are doing something about this. The margin slipped out to 41 points, but they weren't going to lie down. Deer and Madden. Now, this is what Madden was complaining about. He wants front position. Well, he should be entitled to a run at the ball, shouldn't he? Cooper, down towards the 50, picked up by Dean, brilliantly done away to Williams. Williams, intent on drawing a man. As a result, didn't do much with the ball. Socket off the ground by McKay. Down to Gleeson. The hand pass intercepted by Jarman. And the Hawks oh. making their run of things now. Stevenson on the outer side, pulls it back towards the middle. Too much carry for Lawrence. Leading back in the race is Crow. Alvin did brilliantly to get him. And the yes. ball guard out of bounds. Yes, he did well, Tommy Alvin. He had the job on Jarman earlier. Kept him quiet. I thought Crow might get away here, but just a desperate lunge by Elvin. What about that? Round the hips. Great tackle. Perfect. That'll be in the season highlights, I reckon. Here's a chance for Hudson. They've kicked three in a row. Don't ride off the Hawks. Well, he's a real opportunist, Paul Hudson. He's kicked three, three. Started on the bench. He's been really been out of form as Pritchard comes off and bun on. Lawrence setting it up well. And there's Hudson going in. So back in the middle of Hawthorne, back in contention. Brown couldn't control it, worked out of it by Platten. Bun hasn't got the ball, surely. He'll get the free kick. 11-9 Mark Bunn, up from half-back, short to Jarman. Jarman gets past Williams, kicks towards half-forward, up wide for Graham. Hudson, who's been in everything, strong tackle by Spalding, got him down that time. Back it comes to Graham, pushed off it by McKay, who has to go again. Stevenson got it to Graham. Hudson once more, 45 metres from goal, taken high, must get a free kick. Might have been a little slow there in getting rid of the ball, Paul Hudson, and maybe a little fortune in getting the free kick. The umpire said it was too high. But you can see there, taking a while to get rid of the ball, Hudson. But there's the free kick. Desperate by McCoy. Paul Hudson has put it three. Two in this term. Too far out to score, I'd say. He's been the spark. Goes for distance. Good looking kick. Oh, Silvani up very high. Just for the three for a behind. Great leap by Silvani. And there was Serge Silvani in the coach's box watching his son. Free kick, surely. Whistle is coming back. Hawthorne free. Well, that's twice they've mucked it up kicking it in. Carlton. One was Christo, then that time it was Silvani. Lawrence off to Allen. Long kick by Allen, just away to the left. Why wouldn't you kick it long with the breeze? It's been all Hawthorne in the last six or seven minutes. At one stage it was 74 to 33. Now it's 75 to 54. Peter Knights looking through the gloom. We're back to 19 points again. Oh, this is ambitious. Oh, dear, oh dear, this is That's a, a third. That's a third time they've mucked it up, Carlton, from kick-ins. Gowers sends it back. It's a very high kick to the kickoff line. Silvani anxious to make amends. Oh, too high. Could have been a free kick to Hogg in there. Nothing doing. Down went Silvani. Oh, that's very tired stuff. Well, the umpire just on the wrong side of the pack, and he didn't see that free kick. Congestion of players blocking his view. 
Now, this is Dean. Now, what's he going to do? Because uh, Silvani's mucked it up twice, Christo once. They're asking for volunteers, Don. And Williams saying, just kick it long. He's in the centre of the ground, signalling to kick it long, and that's what Dean does. And listen to that roar from the crowd. Up goes Dia Mistit, it comes to Bradley. Oh, There's yeah. the advantage of going down the middle on the breeze. Kernahan, the ball wide of the mark and bounces out of bounds in the pocket. So simple, two kicks, other end of the ground. Very simple, isn't it? Well, they did it earlier. They kicked a goal, actually, when Silvani kicked it out and it finished up with a mark to Kernahan on the 50-metre line, and uh, that was a goal. I think it's one of the great frauds of current football is this science of bringing the ball in. Boundary throw in, Langford gets it down, taken by Mitchell across the goal face. Here's a chance for Hogg in the opposite pocket. And it bounds again. Well, what they believe, Dennis, is the fact that if you do go long, they believe that you turn it over more often than what you do if you go short. So I suppose there's arguments both sides, isn't there? I know what there? they believe. I know what we've just seen. Good hands in front, flicks it behind. Here's an opportunity for Brown and or Hogg. Hogg snaps and gets a goal. I think we rest our case. 12-9 to 7-13. Not finding it difficult to write the goals down. The blood's just about drained out of the fingers. They're numb. But Hogg kicks the saver. Really, it's a scrappy bit of play here as Hogg quickly gets it. Doesn't look towards goal, really. Just slams away and then finds its mark. Back in the middle. Deer, clean possession. Dean gets back there. Thumps the ball out. McKay, Hudson. McKay, palms off Platt. Allen charging at the ball. Oh, that's pretty close. Oh, what a goal by Ben Allen. Well, that was something else, that goal from Allen. Just when Carlton thought they may have had to save it through Hogg. Hawthorne go into attack, Dunstall gets to ground. Mackay hits the ball hard, does well, but this handball just goes really anywhere, and here's Ben Allen off the ground. What a goal. I don't think you could do that again. Twelve nine to eight thirteen. Dia claimed by Hawk. Stevenson a half chance wide right of the pack. Great desperation shown by Gleeson. Ball up. What a highlight that was. I don't know whether Ben Allen was trying to put it onto the forward line or was really going for goal. But you're right, Scott. He couldn't do it again a million times. Madden and Dia. In from the side, Dean. Thumps it towards half forward. Mitchell went to ground. Allen slung. Still Allen over the ball. Well done by Mitchell. Platten working hard against Hogg. It comes back to Gleeson. Not before the whistle. Full well, credit to Hawthorne. They were gone. They've got back into this. And what's Madden going to do at this bounce now? He's going to get a bit of a run this time. Comes from behind the umpire virtually. Knocks it down towards Hogg. Picked up by Williams. Slick hands away to Brown. Brown floats it down inside the 50. McGuinness goes back. Takes the mark for the Hawks. Hawthorne will come home with this breeze that sprung up here at Optus Oval. It will favour the left of screen, and Hawthorne are going that way in the last quarter. 12 9, 8 13. Cooper bounced off him. Opportunity for Cook. Down went Williams. Knew he was lacking support, so the boundary line was good enough. And they regroup. That's right. If the Hawks can bottle it up for the last three and a quarter minutes, and the margin's only 20 points at the last change, that'll be a big chance. Turner hands in front, Langford from behind. Brown tried to go through but left the ball behind. Mitchell, who's been very good, slaps it out. Hogg's got it just outside the 50. Platten got oh, it. Too high. Good of Fittius was taken high. Advantage is paid. Kicks from 40. And he's missed. Maybe he should have just steadied down a bit that time, Anthony. Now you tell. 12, 10, 8, 13. <laughs> Mill Hanna off injured early in the game. We've also seen Heaver break a leg in the first minute. So the uh, runaway Blues, who'd won eight in a row, all of a sudden, not looking invincible. McGuinness kicks in. Off hands to Kutafides. Back to Bradley. Whistle's gone. 
And it's Spalding's free kick. 51 metres out. Spalding! Hooked it. And doesn't bring up a score. Well, the worst man in the team had the free kick then. Chris Langford. The kick does hold up. It clears the 50. Madden does well to punch forward. McGuinness marked his punch. And now he's over the ball. Oh, golly. He did nearly try and get it now. Ball. He can't mark, mark a punch. <laughs> well, here it is. McGuinness going to ground. Look. Amazing. Does he make an attempt? Amazing non-decision by the umpire. My word. I suppose there might have been a little confusion as to which umpire should have given the decision because the one in the uh, back half or the back third had to run a long way to pull that or bounce that ball down. You'd like to think, Don, all three would agree on the decision. Including the goal umpire at that end. They all knew that. There's the bounce in the pocket. Langford heads for the boundary line, out of bounds, inside the last two minutes of the third term. This man's boot at five this afternoon, but he's played strongly on occasions. 12 10 to 8 13. Hawthorne still a chance in this. Oh, that's a free kick. Kernahan can't control it. Was he pushed in the back? Not according to the umpire. Bun and Platten dive on top. And the bounce. Close to Carlton's attacking goal. Kernahan in from the side, Spalding. Lynn. A bit of two early goals in this term. Worked off it. Spalding grabs it. Oh! oh, oh what a goal! <laughs> he can't kick the set shots. Something out of nothing for Earl Spalding. 13 10 to 8 13. Very important goal, that one. Well, Hock um, kicked a goal out of a bit of a scrummage earlier. And now it is Spalding, and Hawthorne rebounded as quickly. Can Hawthorne rebound this time? Twenty-seven points the difference. A minute and a quarter left. Platten in the centre circle. He's claimed. Umpire's going to ball it up. Madden's kicked it away. That might earn him a little finger wag from the umpire because Madden and the umpire haven't seen eye to eye all day. Not surprising when Madden's that tall. And look at the umpire. And here is the contest for clear space between Deer and Madden. I don't know. Oh. No restrictions now for the second ball up. Madden wins it anyway. Mitchell, back he goes to Christo. Hooks the ball back over his shoulder. Cooks there. Hawthorne players flying against each other. Another goal here for the Blues. And it'll be killer for the Hawks you'd reckon 45 seconds to go to three-quarter time starting to rain here too at Optus Oval so conditions not pleasant for football and snow might be about a minute away there's Cooper Williams has had his best quarter though in this third Kutafidis Chris Du they're working their way into goal scoring position kicked by Chris Du Cook is there Knock to the front Graham Time running out, 15 seconds left. The kick by Graham bounces out. And a throw in. Clock stops on 12 seconds remaining. Throw in, just outside the 50 then. We'll have to be quick here by Carlton if they're to score. Well done by Bradley to Mitchell. They need a mark. Here comes Cook. Up he goes, bounces off his chest. Could be the last action of the term. Allen across the goal face on the siren. So three-quarter time at Prince's Park. And Carlton lead 13-10 to 8-13. Start of the final term at Prince's Park. Carlton lead by 27 points. Hawthorne finishing with a breeze. One down by Deer. Over the ball, Hargraves. Knocks it on. Kutafidis leads back in the race. Here's a chance for Stevenson. Claimed by Kutafidis. Platten held momentarily. Crow tries to knock it out. Gowers does well. 
Gets it across to support Crawford. He goes down towards the pocket. Off Dunstall's hand and out of bounds. And Hawthorne have got Lawrence in the forward pocket alongside Dunstall. In actual fact, Lawrence is taking up position in the goal square. Deer, as we see, still on the ball. Carlton led by over 40 points in the third term. Hawthorne came storming back. Williams towards halfback with his kick. Slides in over the ball again, Williams. It comes back to him again, to McKay. Hurried kick towards centre half back. Kudafiti surrounded by Hawks. Well done by Stevenson. Got it to Collins. This is Crawford. A fumble. Still some time. Back to Stevenson. 55 metres out. Sends it on the breeze. Just wide of the mark. A behind. Margin 26 points. Well, Hawthorne has started well in this uh, fourth quarter. Might be a three or four goal breeze, so uh, it might help Hawthorne get pretty close. They'll need to work a little bit better than the breeze is going to give them. Some excellent kick into the breeze by Christo, carried every bit of 70 metres. Sexton up towards half forward. Kernahan caught behind, works to the back. Collins, a good hand pass to Allen, who kicked a freak goal in the third quarter. Kicked by Ben Allen off the side of the boot. He aimed that at Hargraves and found Christo about 15 metres away. Christo to centre half oh, forward. Lynn! Well, a slimy ball with this uh, drizzle here and a great mark by Lynn. They've got a spare forward. Gee, Bradley's by He's himself, scoring. so is Mitchell quickly. Oh. And Spalding's blazing for goal. Oh. And the worst kick on the side, and right. that is shocking team football by Earl Spalding. Unbelievable. Two men on for 15 seconds, maybe longer. Here's Allen. Well, no kick is easy into the breeze. Allen from half back then runs away. Had a lot of the ball today. Kicks to midfield. Madden goes back and takes a very good mark. Excellent mark. Allen, 28 possessions. 19 and 9 with six marks. Here's Madden. The centre square. Another man gets free. This is Brown. Runs down towards the 50, pulls it back towards the middle. Carlton have got a lot of numbers there. Cook was up, couldn't hang on. Gleeson, gained about 10 metres. Graham to Langford. Little look away well hand done. pass. Well Graham done. hard against the line. Kicks towards the wing. Coming up to meet a Dean. Can he keep it in? No. So boundary throw in at the interchange gates. 26 points the margin, 88 to 62, and we have just over 17 minutes remaining. Carlton Run has just gone out to Earl Spalding, I think, telling him about the two options that were on earlier. Bradley to Christo. Pops it out in front of Kudafidis. 50 metres out right in front. Run down from behind and buried. Soccer off the ground, well gathered by Allen. Good hands by the Hawks. Graham to Jarman. Jarman's kick along the ground to centre wing. Sexton hard at the ball. His high kick to 50. Well before the ball got there, Mitchell was taken out. But a Hawthorne mark is paid. Christo was just too long with that ball in midfield there. That extra step, he should have sent it down long into the forward line. Graham to Allen. Somebody with a surname will get it soon. Allen goes out wide. Knocked away by Dean. Still got the string going. Here's Williams. And now Gleeson through the middle towards half forward. Again, Carlton with the numbers forward of the ball. Well, it bounced too far away for them. Allen to Langford. Around the other side he goes. Adventurously. This is Crawford, 70 metres from goal. Inside the 50. Well done there by McKay. Dropped it to his own advantage, chased it, got it and boots it to the wing. And Bradley's in space. Suddenly everyone's shaking their marker. Bradley has it down towards half forward, takes on Deer, 60 metres out, kicks for the middle, leading from the side, didn't touch the ball. Williams leads back in the race with him as Pritchard. Pritchard too much pace. In comes Cook, the 218s clash. Close to the line. Is it out of bounds? Yes. And both Tasmanians, Pritchard and Cook. Tellus warming up for Hawthorne on the bench. No goals as yet in the last quarter. Gleeson missed. 
Well, we'll ball it up. So we've been playing about five minutes, and so far, Hawthorne have added a behind, and Carlton nothing. All that favours a Carlton win. Ball out of bounds. It's breezy, it's cool, it's been drizzling. Still just a little bit of drizzle here. Bear Gleeson with a little bit of a limp there. Spalding, lucky to be on the ground after his misdemeanor earlier. Here's Gleeson. Spalding again. Hurried left footer inside the 50. Oh, he's a big guy. Oh, he's in trouble. Tackle. Bradley the tackler. Kernahan has it. A snap by the skipper. Oh. He's missed everything. What a tackle by, uh, was that Bradley? Gee, you could Great see Bradley. him. He's, he's going to run him down from a long way out. Look at that. Now, what, he's come. No, it's oh, hot. Fantastic. And just looking at Hoggy's right up on centre wing, picking up Platten now. Gee, he works hard. Jarman went looking for Hargraves, who dropped the mark, so the Blues have a chance here. Spalding to Sexton. And now Bradley, little chip in short taken by Cook. Carlton looking quite good at the moment, working up into the breeze. Kernahan's the target, knocked away by Langford. Ooh. Waiting in front was Brown, no place to be. They buried him. And the bounce. Hard way to win a bounce. Kernahan and Langford, run down by the ladder. Brown gets a kick, pulls it back to the middle. Spalding waited, fisted away well by Graham. Crawford's away. A third bounce carries him out to half back. Still with plenty of time. Williams comes after him and hit him pretty hard when he got there. Looks like it off the ground by Dean. Well Still done. Dean goes. Well done by Williams too because that held the ball up. It was excellent play by Williams. Hawthorne are going to pull two changes. Barnard's coming off and so on, and so is Tallis. Pritchard's going off. Crawford wouldn't have been in any doubt he was going to get hit, would he? No. Thrown in on the outer side. Williams back into the fray. Took a bit out of him that last collision. No, so did that one. Away comes Lynn, gets it to Christou. Christou from the 50, goes for home. It's a goal. No, it hit the post. Oh. A better effort by Christou. Williams on his feet. Kick in by Langford. Neither team can buy a goal here in the last quarter. This is Hargraves. The mark oh. Just going to say the marking's gone out the window, hasn't it? Man to man stuff at the moment. Ball flips to the back of the pack. Stevenson's there. Hudson as well. It sits up well for McGuinness. He's 60 metres out. A centering kick. Good discipline. Lawrence is there. Madden as well. Touched off the hands and threw from behind. So what are they doing? Madden must be going with Lawrence in the back pocket and Sexton going with Deer on the ball. Interesting. So Cook's got a problem. Gleason's limping. It's a depleted bench with Bond, Hannah and Heaver off the ground for Carlton. It's all Carlton out here, about three or four to one. Bradley. Round the corner, Sexton, centre wing, up towards half forward. Brown's been a quiet play today. Here's Cook, and the ball out of play. Fraser Brown, normally such a prolific kick winner, he's had nine possessions. Just amazed the way players are finding space, getting out by themselves in this last quarter. Ball behind the back, Mitchell, but only as far as Cooper, away to Jarman, who's had a pretty quiet afternoon. Comes wide, Gowers pushes it across the line. Madden's gone back on the ball, and Sexton's gone back to the back pocket, picking up Lawrence. Nine kicks, no hand passes for Jarman. There's Madden. He'll battle Dia. Madden wins it down. Allen, who's been terrific, kicks inside the 50. Silvani. Has won the battle with Dunstall, but not this time. Although the hand pass not good from the champ. Picked up by Silvani. Well done, Silvani. Tries to get it back to McKay, and McKay content to run it across the line. He's deceptively quick as well, uh, Silvani. Very awkward uh, running style, but he covers the ground very efficiently. Carlton holding Hawthorne at the moment. 13-11, 8-15. Game needs a goal. Free kick to Madden. 
What? Yes, he was hooking. Oh, goodness. Well, it's going the other way, Don. Oh, right. Exactly. That's what. In duplicate. <laughs> There's Lawrence. Madden not the favoured boy with the umpires this afternoon. Lawrence on the breeze. They'll contest about five metres out. Dunstall could have been held. The ball rolls out of bounds alongside the behind post. Dunstall's booted three goals. Here's Hogg. Oh! Dunstall! Oh, he hit the post. One at either end in the last couple of minutes. You've got Dunstall for three, have you? I've got him for two. You're probably right. Two, two, three, Dunstall. Chris Dew kicks in. Paul Carlton again. It's almost like Hawthorne are conceding these and uh, trying to win the ball at ground level because they're finding it pretty hard to take marks, as Hudson proved here. Oh, Dean, well done. And he set it up for McKay, and there's a oh, bit of a box a on here one. between Dean and Hudson. Once again at ground level, it's Collins, but it's jolted free to Kernahan. Kernahan approaches 50. Cook. Is the trainer going to run out through? To Cook. Well, would you need the water bottle with a wet ball? And here comes the trainer. He's running out, but Cook's waved him away. Well, surely it's wet enough. Actually, he's spitting into his hand, so... It's an interesting move, isn't it? Might get a bit of protection from the stands. Talking to himself, he must be lonely. Cook as he lines up. Not a bad kick, but offline all the way for a behind. So this is a strange old last quarter. We haven't had a goal kick. Carlton have kicked two behinds, and Hawthorne have kicked three behinds. Here's Langford. We've just heard from uh, Bertie, probably a minute ago on the bench, that apparently it's habit with Cook. He's been doing it for a long time, and that's come from the Carlton bench. That's the water on the hands as he lines up for goal. Bradley got it from Mitchell, went looking for Kernahan. This is Crow, just outside the defensive 50. Kicks it towards the wing. Bradley's in front, knocked it forward, taken by Jarman. Jarman boots it down towards half foot. All Carlton back there. Dean takes the mark on his chest, goes in short. Mitchell. A hand pass, a little untidy, although Alvin run onto it. He boots it down towards half forward. Up was Cook down there, fisted Ooh. away. Brown waited in front. Coming through was Cooper, who got it to Collins, and now it's with Lawrence. Lawrence tips it out wide to Gowers. Now, Gowers, a question of accuracy from inside the 50. It's bending back nicely. It's a goal. Well, thank goodness for that. We've waited 13 minutes for a goal. Well, Fraser Brown took his eye off the ball on the edge of the uh, square. You've really got to go in now. Watch this. That's where Brown should have gone. See, he took his eye off the ball. Turnover. You can't do that in top grade football. Margin back to 20 points. And maybe the Hawks still a chance. But they'd need four goals to win. Kudafidi's inside the 50. Courageous mark by Graham. And he takes a knock to the head as well. Well, that is fantastic stuff. The boy from Berwick. He's got a tremendous leap, uh, Graham. Very athletic. Mitchell nudged out of it by Collins. At the back, Matt. Crowd rises. Harry! He's fumbled the wet ball. The hand pass to no one. Cooper. He did well for a half on Williams. Gowers. Good second half for Andy Gowers. Barnard taps. Hawk ball here. Platten. No, Christo. Jolted out by Barnard. Another good tackle, but high, says the umpire. And it's a Carlton free kick to be taken by Gleeson. He worked pretty hard in there, Barnard. A bit unlucky. Kick by Gleeson inside the 50. Down goes Spalding. Uncontested front of the pack. The mark taken by McGuinness. Eight and a half minutes left. 
Four goals to win for Hawthorne. Towards the wing comes the kick. Gowers was up, missed it. This is Crow. Hand passes to his own advantage. Still he goes. Gets it across to Crawford. Crawford 60 metres out. Silvani dropping back. Crawford just did mark. not look on that occasion. Silvani, his side leading by 20 points. But kicking into a fresh breeze now. Getting plenty of help from the crowd. Silvani goes towards the outer side. Kutafiti's up in front. Could have almost got a free. A hand on the shoulder. Sexton boots it forward. Chance for Carlton around the outer side. Bradley kicks towards half forward. Cook lost McGuinness that time. He's about 75, 80 metres from goal. Cook. Oh, shocking wow. kick. Williams will need to go here. Fisted away by Cooper. Worth a kick down towards half forward. Allen. Quick hands away to Crawford. Over the top. Barnard an opportunity. Barnard about 40 metres from goal, snaps, McKay in best position, Hudson arriving, knocks it across the line. 19 points the difference. Been a popular margin all day, 19. That was the margin at quarter time and at half time. Oh. Silver Honey kicks in short to Alvin. Well, they mucked up a few in the third quarter and for a moment Don and I were worried by that one. Seven and a quarter minutes left. 19 points, Carlton lead. Punch from behind by Cooper. Gets it away from Williams. Sexton to Mitchell. All Carlton centre wing. Bradley. Mark was there before Jarman spoiled. Madden kept on going. On well done by Graham. Now fancy that Madden thought he had it uncontested. Enthusiasm of youth with Mark Graham there. Comes to the back, Kuda feed, he's pulled Good off tackle. the ball. Allen, great stuff. Well done by Ben Allen, now dragged to ground. Platten fighting hard. Done well today, Ben Allen, tried very, very hard. 21 kicks, 13 handballs, and seven marks for Ben Allen. They've talked about him going to Fremantle, wouldn't he be a picker? Bounce inside the centre square. Button missed it. Crow hand passed it directly to Gleeson. Surrounded. Williams likewise. Down he went. There's no time at the present time. Oh, now, Greg, you really do stretch the rules. Umpire's got a very good look at that. Lucky he wasn't grabbed. Williams wanting to go on with it. Gleeson trying to get him out of there. And now it's going to be a Hawthorne free kick. Well, that was silly by Carlton. Uh, that is silly by an experienced player. There's Crow. And it's on again on the edge of the square. I think it's Elvin and the Hawthorne player wrestling. Crawford. Away comes Sexton, meantime. Boots it back to the wing. There's a bit happening. Mitchell wants the footy, and that's wise. Goes short. Spalding. Well, he's got to get a free kick. And that would have hurt. Spalding up slowly. There's the action away from the football. Tempest frayed. I think uh, Crawford's going to go off the ground. Pritchard on. It's been ill-tempered this game virtually from the first bounce. We had Hogg and Platten at it long before the umpire bounced the ball to start it. And Pritchard's injured too. He's coming on and he's limping. Spalding down towards Kernahan. It's been in the forward line a long time for Carlton in this turn, but they can't get a goal. Madden soccers it. And he's missed. Oh, drag Madden. Should have put that through. Well, Allen did from about 50 metres. Yeah, hard but fair, Don. Well, it would be daylight robbery if Hawthorne got up and won the game with four goals in the last five minutes. Carlton have led all day. But the Blues haven't been all that convincing. and They've managed just three behinds in the last quarter. Madden got a fist to it. Actually, he went behind him. Here's Kernahan. A goal here would absolutely seal it. Langford across the half back line, bounces one out of bounds. Chris Langford celebrating his 250th today. But at the moment, it doesn't look like the party will be too sweet tonight. Spalding looking for the boundary line, didn't find it, but Platten a bit of a fumble. Bun. Williams took his eyes off it. Cooper. Collins, Platten again. Oh, here's Ben Allen. Ben superb. 
the hand pass away. Chance here for Crow. Allen just building on the stats. Well gathered by Graham. He's been terrific. Dunstall one out. Silvani does well. Dean waits with poise. Dragged to the ground. It'll be a baller. Well played by Silvani. Excellent play by Dean too. 13-13. To 9-17. Good umpiring. I think there was Hayden Kennedy down there at that end. Here he's bouncing the ball. Just over four minutes to go. It would seem the Blues are home here. Here's Crow, Barnard, Allen, who's been absolutely superb. Goes out wide, too wide. Silvani hits for the boundary line. Content to push it across. The clock stops. Ben Allen, 37 possessions this afternoon. In a losing cause, one would think. In front, Deer from behind, Madden. Opportunity wide of the pack for Barnard. It was charged down by Dean. Williams across the goal face, but it may come off for the Blues. Well, Gleason, it worked to his advantage. He kicks it out towards right half back. Bradley and McKay, so they can run this one out. Craig Bradley with plenty of time, a second bounce and a third. He is strolling down the member's side. Goes short then to Brown. Kernahan wants the chip pass to the pocket. That's ignored. Kernahan's not happy. The kick comes down towards the kickoff line. Picked up by Spalding. And he snaps it. Or was it Cook? It was Cook who got it. Well, a very, very slow build-up, one could say as Bradley walked down the centre wing. Here he is, walking down. Over the top it goes. Brown had Kernahan on a little bit further, but he decided to go long. And then there's Cook running in. Attempting the mark, following up. Well done, James Cook. Three minutes left. Madden palms down, but they've lost it. Cooper out of the middle. Hudson, bit of a fumble. And it's bent before he got it. Sexton. Hogg giving chase with Barnard. Well done by Hogg. Here's Bradley on the other side of the ground. The kick went straight past Madden. Out of bounds. That will do. Two minutes 40 left. And it's 97 to 71. Rid of Deer with one arm and wins the ball with the other. He's been a revelation this year, Justin Madden. Today, four marks, 11 possessions. Kicked the top goal. Yeah, this is, well, look at Madden pointing to the ground. This is where I want. Well, his opponent is entitled to debate it with him. Williams. There's Earl Spaulding. Bounces past Brown to Kernahan. Now Brown's got it. Cook. Well, James Cook finishing with a flourish. Now he didn't wet his hands before, Drew, and he kicked a goal. Spit, that's the go. Who needs the water? Well, the trainer's coming out now. <laughs> now, do we? Just signals to the trainer, no, I don't need the water. Looking for his second goal, both in the last quarter. Distance about 40 metres. Oh, it's pretty good. Icing on the cake. Icing on the cook. Well, it didn't look a good kick off the boot, the bent knee. Didn't look as if he made really good contact with it. But here's Spalding picking the ball up. Maybe a free kick there. Brown, chip across to Cook. He just watched the kick. Didn't look a convincing kick off the boot. So Cook has got the last two goals, and Carlton will get the four points here this afternoon. Alvin, socket off the ground by Hogg, taken by Crow. Platten, who's been very quiet, wrestled to the ground. And a bounce. Seven possessions for John Platten. This is an identical second round as the first round was for Hawthorne. They lost to Melbourne, North Melbourne, and now Carlton. 
Chris Bradley. So this makes it six in a row, Carlton v Hawthorne. And balls out of bounds on the wing. Lawrence warming up on the boundary line, about to come on. Madden and Dia. Falls behind them. Chris do away on that left foot. The kick not particularly good. Spalding played it well, kept it alive. Now a chance for Brown. Goes back into the flow. Good of feet his lobs one towards full forward. Cook goes back over the top. Graham. Content to concede a behind. Almost a mark to Cook. He's kicked two goals in this term. Late in the game. On comes Lawrence for Deer. Great and Tallis, who in the uh, trial games was mixed up in the incident with Dermot Brereton. Not that, not that Tallis did much better. Just happened to be there. Yeah. Centre wing missed by Lawrence. Hand pass in from Bunn. Running onto this is Crow. Nobody in the goal square. A chance this. Just offline. Clock stops on 14 seconds remaining. Players blowing steam on a very cool afternoon. Coldest day we've had for football this season. Pritchard, little hand pass. Chris Du. Bradley. On his own is Mitchell. Got Bradley going past for the old one two. There's the siren. Not quite a stat for Craig Bradley. Got a win to the Blues. And for the second time this season they've beaten the Hawks. They led all day, and it was easy in the end by 32 points. So they won every quarter except the second, which they drew. And a hot shower would be very handy with these players after the game. Now, down on the boundary line, here's Dippo Thank with the captain. Thanks very much, uh, Drew. Now, uh, Cookie, we want to know why do you wet your hands before you kick a ball? Oh, just the wasn't Dippo, you get the wasn't on your hands. and. Sometimes the ball sticks here when it's not supposed to. Now, all of Australia wants to know that. Now, six times now that Carlton have been Hawthorne. Now, a terrific effort by the boys again. Yeah, it was a real good pressure game today. Got the bye next week so we can recover, and we just need to go into the bye with a win. And you know, Fort, we're starting to get a few goals now? Yeah, starting to get into a run now. It's good. good right, you better go before you get jumped on. Thanks very much, Drew. On your dipper. Oh, that must stick in his craw as a Hawthorne Premiership player and seeing Carlton continue their dominance over the Hawks in recent times. That is now their last six wins in a row. James Cook going off through the throng and it's been a 32-point win here to Carlton over Hawthorne. 15-14, 104 to 9-18, 72.